is all the scrap lumber from the travel trailers that were torn apart in order to make two tiny houses in one. Tiny house on two trailers. So this is going to be a window here, and there's going to be another window up above it. And there's going to be a couple more windows over here on this. And there's going to be a loft way up there. It's not built yet. Another loft way up there. Not built yet. And this is the front entrance. The back corner of the second trailer. I don't know how big the door is going to be yet, but when you come inside, you'll see a big window, and there'll be beams up there, and there'll be beams coming down the wall, I got to get those yet, get them installed, and the fender wells, so you will be able to, I'll build a box around those eventually. This is going to be an 8x10 loft up above with just about 4 foot 3 um, headspace. It'll be a 10 by 10, uh, 8x10 room back here with two 3 foot by 3 foot windows. And up above in the loft will probably be 4 2 foot by 2 foot windows on either side. And all of these fur beams will be exposed. Don't know if I'm going to stain anything or not, but it'll be all pine, pine siding on the inside. That's the front entryway again. And basically over this fender well here is all going to be closet for the entryway here. And then more closet for the bedroom in there with a door basically right in the middle and off to this side here it's going to be a, some sort of a staircase sort of like that where that 2x4 is going up to the loft be a staircase there and a window at the bottom of the staircase and then probably build some shelving in underneath the staircase and maybe a little internet office area and then over here is the bay window this is the main trailer I built a long time ago like three years ago and it kind of just looks out that's our back road there to the property and it's pretty nice nice and serene the outhouse is just at the front of the this trailer, I don't know if you can see it. I'm filming all of this with an iPhone 4, so the quality won't be too good. That's the neighbors across the way. And I'm standing in the bay window. This is the other neighbor. This is the uh, front wall. This is the main trailer. This will house the bathroom and the kitchen and basically more of the living room. And uh, this big opening is going to be, believe it or not, for a slide out. All constructed of 2x4s and plywood. And right next to that, that's going to be like the back door uh, for the kitchen area. Um, this will all be kitchen along this side with this window here and another window there and then that far window is the bathroom window that'll all be bathroom in the back and then kitchen starting from here all the way past the wheel well 
and it's going to end up somewhere where that window is and those drinks are sitting. There should be another window up above it. Got to frame that in yet. And then that's out to the bay window in the slide out area. There'll be some windows up there, but I haven't decided yet. There'll be another one above the back door for the kitchen area. And right at the back door, going up here, will be another staircase up to the second loft, which isn't framed in yet. And that'll be the same ceiling height, about four foot two or three. That's about it. It's coming along. I've been trying to build this thing since uh, 2010. I built this trailer, the main one I'm standing on, in 2010. And then uh, all the rest of it now has been the uh, in the last month, only on weekends. And so I'm hoping to get this thing finished this year, at least closed in. I can work on the inside in the winter time doing the wiring and the insulation. Now we're at the hard part, all of these beams that are going in up here, I've just got them tacked in there right now to hold everything square. And we've got plywood on certain parts of the walls to hold everything square while you're setting it up. And uh, that's about it. I'll show you just quickly underneath all of the cribbing. This was a lot of work doing all of the cribbing underneath. And I had to uh, cut the propane tank mounts off of the old travel trailer there. I'll paint that later. I'll paint underneath here later. Match the gray of the rest of the trailers. But building that cribbing was a lot of work, but probably the best and easiest way to go leveled out pretty good I notice it's settled since we've been building it so I gotta before we go any further I gotta raise up this one corner here it's it's not quite level what a quarter-inch piece of plywood ought to do it bring it back to level but there's the uh, I'm guessing it's the world's first tiny house on two wheels or two two trailers tiny house on wheels and two trailers totaling just about 600 feet, 590 I think is what it calculates. So, any bigger than this and it's no longer a tiny house. So, a little bit of eye candy for you. I'll be building more. Hope you enjoyed the video.